Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. So it has now been two weeks since I started testosterone and today I got my, my second injection so I'm doing half a milliliter every two weeks which is basically 100 milligrams um, every two weeks of testosterone. So that's where I'm at in terms of the timeline and um, just for this week's update in terms of like have I noticed any changes, um, whatnot. Um, the only real noticeable change that I've perceived so far is um, a, a slight increase in my libido. That has definitely been something that's there. It's like, okay, um, something that I think my late husband would have appreciated a lot. <laughs> He would have been like, damn, should have done this sooner. <laughs> um, so there's that. Um, other than that, um, I really haven't noticed a lot of other changes. I don't know if my voice sounds that much different yet. Um, I did a voice recording um, this last Saturday, so I'm going to be doing a, a voice recording of myself just to, for my own ear to, to see how my voice sounds. But as of this last Saturday, my voice didn't sound that much different to me. Um, do you guys think it sounds that different? I don't think so, because I asked my friends last week and they were like, no, nah, you sound the same. <laughs> so that really hasn't changed much yet. Um, other than that, no, there, there really hasn't been any perceived changes. I'm certainly not growing any facial hair yet or <laughs> anything like that. So, um, but it's only been two weeks. So it's like, I'm not expecting miracles here. Um, because that's just not going to happen. Um, it's a process that will take as long as it takes and it will take, you know, weeks, months, even years for some of the changes. So, um, that being said, <laughs> that's where I'm at. Um, and, uh, there, there really isn't, um, a lot more to, uh, to update on, on this video, uh, in terms of just, you know, like you can see what I look like and, um, I don't think I look that much different. I don't sound that much different. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just me. And uh, I'm just gonna keep keep on keeping on. Um, in terms of taking the injections and things, um, I, I was initially very, very not happy with the idea of having to do injections. Um, I, I was trying to avoid those at all costs. And as I said, in my last video that I was surprised that it wasn't as bad as I thought. It was a, a quick prick and there was definitely afterwards for about an hour or two um, a definite burning sensation when when it was in uh, once it was in my muscle and everything and, and it it wasn't a bad pain or, or it was just like a discomfort and I could kind of feel it but it wasn't a bad thing at all and after about an hour or two it was gone. Now today um, I got my injection and I got the prick, but um, no burning. So I'm almost wondering if that has anything to do with the fact that you know the testosterone. I had I, I had lower testosterone in my system when I had the first injection, and my body was reacting to this new substance in my body. But now that I've had two weeks of this testosterone in my system, that with the second one, my body isn't reacting the same way to it um, in terms of, of the sensation and things. I, I don't know. All I know is I didn't feel the burning <laughs> this time around. So there's that. So I'm actually really happy with the fact that the injections aren't as bad as I feared. And so I just I just take my, my little vial in that I have and, and, and just go into my doctor's office and say, hey, I need an injection. And um, I just wait, I, I ended up, last time, well last time I had to have a blood draw and I needed uh, an injection and so that took a little while to, to get all of that done. Um, but um, this time around I was just for an injection and that was it. And so I think I waited maybe five minutes, oh, uh, not even, uh, maybe only one or two minutes. It was, it was pretty quick in terms of, of me checking in with the front desk, them getting me in the system, and then letting um, a medical assistant know, because it's medical assistants and, and, and nurses are the ones that are giving the injections, and, and one of them called me in, and I bent over, and because they, they do it in your, in your gluteus maximus back here, so you have to kind of pull your pants down, um, 
and uh, injected me and I was done. I mean, I was in and out in five, 10 minutes tops. So, um, and I'll be doing that every two weeks because I'm not injecting myself. I just, that that's one thing I just, I can't do. Um, it, it's bad enough that I have to get injections uh, with my fear of needles. Thankfully, I, I get to get it from behind so I don't have to see it. Uh, but other than that, it's, it's actually been a lot easier to do than I expected, so I'm, I'm really happy about that. Um, as for that blood draw, just as another update, uh, so one of the things that testosterone can do um, is it can negatively affect your cholesterol, and I already have bad cholesterol. So, so there is that concern with taking testosterone and, and possibly raising your cholesterol and, and, and being, you know, having some negative effects and things. So that's one thing that my doctor's uh, looking at very closely. Now, my cholesterol, so I've had my cholesterol tested a total of three times now since last October. So last October it was at 315, which is ridiculously, okay, not ridiculous high, but it's really high and it's not, you know, that was really a concern. And so my doctor um, had me start taking um, some supplements um, called red yeast rice, um, which is a, a naturally occurring statin. And so she's like, you know what, let's have you try that first. Um, and if that doesn't work, then I'll give you a prescription for the, the, the commercial grade stuff. So, uh, so I tried that and we retested in, uh, in March, so six months later. And my cholesterol went from 315 down to 265. So it dropped 50 points in a six month period. And because I'm very scientifically minded and everything, and I wanted to make sure that this was like, if, if it really is the, the red yeast rice and not my own efforts to improve the cholesterol. So I decided, you know what? For the next six months, I'm not going to change anything. I'm gonna eat the way I normally do. I'm gonna exercise as much or as little as I normally do without any extra effort. And we're just gonna start taking the red yeast rice and, and also take CoQ10 um, along with that to help. Um, there's there's a reason why if you're taking any kind of a statin, you wanna take Co CoQ10 and I'll let you look up the information online about that. But, so I'm taking those two things for six months and that's the only change I made was just taking that and it dropped 50 points. I was like, okay, this stuff works. So, but in the last three months, obviously I have been um, significantly changing my diet, um, trying to exercise more, that kind of thing. And since March, so I, I, so I just had my blood taken again a couple weeks ago and so, so it's a basically three a three month period, uh, and it dropped um, another thirty points. So I'm now at two thirty six. So I, I've lost like seventy nine points or almost eighty points off my cholesterol. So this is good. Uh, this was a good starting point in terms of. So that's that's where my cholesterol was when I started testosterone was um, was a two thirty six. Uh, and they tested my blood before I got my first injection. So I, so, so that was sort of like a baseline of where my cholesterol is. Um, and I'm sure I will get tested again. And I've got to take all these needle pricks one way or the other. Um, but I'm sure I'll get tested because I'm seeing my doctor in September, uh, my endocrinologist. And I'm guessing I will need to do another follow-up um, with my cholesterol and things then, uh, as well as... I'm sure they're going to check my T levels and everything else to see where I'm at um, to make sure that my dosage is correct. So, um, but that's where I'm at now. And I'm actually really happy that I was able to get my cholesterol down that far in only nine months. So that's, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Um, and obviously I'm going to keep taking my red yeast rice. Um, I'm going to keep exercising and keep eating healthy and everything. Um, I've been doing a lot of um, tracking on my phone. Um, I'm not sponsored by anything, so I'm not going to mention their names, but I have a number of apps on my phone. One where I record all my meals um, and everything so that I have an idea. And I, I have it paired with um, a fitness tracker and everything, so it, it track one, the one thing tracks all of my sleep and my steps and everything else. And it gives that information to the other app, and so that app says, okay, you've, you, you, know, you have this baseline number of calories based on your, your activity level. And I'm, I've, I've put myself as sedentary because I am mostly sedentary. Um, I'm usually sitting in my office writing or editing um, or sitting in the living room watching TV. Um, I don't do a lot of 
physical activity in my day-to-day -day life other than if I'm going out shopping or something, um, that kind of thing. But other than that, I'm just not up on my feet all day. Uh, it's just not what I do. And so I'm, I've got the sedentary level of calories and then it adds in, um, like, so like you have your baseline calories, like I think I have like 1,650 calories a day. Um, and then it adds in calories burned from my exercise. And it gives me kind of like, okay, this is how many calories you should be consuming today based on your base output and, uh, and, and based on my goals and everything if I want to lose weight. Um, so it kind of does all this calculation for me and all I have to do um, is just like put in how much I'm eating and, and see how many calories I have left. And most days um, I don't I don't even get close to um, the, hey, this is, you should be eating this much every day. I've been eating a lot less than that. Um, I'm eating somewhere between uh, 12 and 1500 calories most days. Some days I go a little higher. Sometimes I'll get up to 1700 calories or 1800, but I, I haven't gone anywhere near 2000 calories or anything, even on days where I've done a lot of exercise. I'm just, in the summertime, I'm just not that hungry. My, my appetite is just a lot lower. In the winter, my appetite just skyrockets and I can probably eat 3000 easily <laughs> in a day. So I'm gonna have to be careful with that. Um, but for right now, summertime is the best time for me to be as healthy as possible because um, it's when um, I have the least amount of appetite. I don't know if it's because of the heat or because of the longer days. I don't know exactly why, but this is just, this is how I've been forever, ever since I was young, uh, is that I just don't eat as much in the summer, never have, and I f am more active. Um, so while I am fairly sedentary, um, I have a yard, I have plants, I have to go out and water them um, and, and, and do gardening and that kind of thing. Um, you know, and I do, you know, a little bit of housework around the house and, and going out and um, since it's nice weather out, I'm more likely to go out more often to do errands and things in, in smaller increments rather than saving them up and just doing them once a week, <laughs> which I do in the winter. So, so I am definitely a lot more active for me uh, in the summer than I am. Uh, but I have been, because I do have my, my little home gym and everything, so I have an elliptical in there, so I'm trying to do that three times a week. Um, I have in the past discovered like, yeah, just three times a week, and then I, I'm like, okay, I'm doing good, let me add a fourth day, and as soon as I add the fourth day, things go downhill, I get fatigue, I, you know, so. For me, apparently three days a week is the perfect amount <laughs> for extra effort for exercise. And so that's what I'm doing is I'm like, okay, I'm gonna make sure that I get the three days a week of cardio. Um, I may try and start adding a couple days a week of, of strength training. Um, I do have a weight bench and I do have some free weights and, and things. And so um, I might start working on that a little bit. I mean, I'm not gonna try and, and now with the testosterone, I could bulk up and everything. And I'm not gonna try and, and get more bulky. Um, not every not every guy can get bulky, regardless of the amount of testosterone in their system. Um, you can just look at, at at various you know just cisgender men out there, and not every guy gets bulky. And um, I don't I don't think everyone can. It's just it it's. You know, it's a genetic thing. Like, not everyone has that in them. I mean, they can they can get leaner muscle and that kind of thing, but not everyone can just like you know become like Arnold Schwarzenegger and everything. <laughs> and I wouldn't want to anyway. Um, but I do want to be. My my goal isn't about weight. It isn't about um, my aesthetics or anything. It's more about health. Um, I've had a lot of health issues in in, in my life. And, and still trying to figure out what the heck's going on with everything. I'm still, like, my, my stomach is still having issues. They didn't find anything conclusive, and we're still dealing with that. And I'll give a, a longer update on that. I'm, I'm currently kind of going doing a back and forth with the uh, gastroenterologist right now, and we'll f figure out, hopefully, something in terms of what the heck's going on. Um, that also can possibly <laughs> relate to some of my appetite problems and things. Um, but I love the fact that, you know, I have very low appetite, I'm not eating much, I am exercising, and I'm not losing a pound of weight, which is pretty typical for me. It's like, you know, just nothing. 
Um, but every time, like, and the first thing, people always say, oh, you should check your thyroid. That's, everyone says that, check your thyroid. Well, guess what? My, ch my thyroid keeps getting checked pretty much every time I get a blood draw, and it always comes back normal. Every single time. Um, and I'm like, I don't know. If, you know, it, I have all the signs of, of having weight issues because of my thyroid, but my thyroid numbers are normal. And the doctors just kind of scratch their heads and shrug and go, well. <laughs> so, whatever. So it's like, you know, I, I, like I said, like I'm not even, I'm not even thinking about the weight anymore. I, I do weigh myself every day, uh, but it's not because I'm trying to lose weight. It's just, I want to keep a consistent record of everything. Um, I know at this point with my weight, because of the testosterone, that some of it could be due to um, increased muscle mass, as because my, my muscle mass will slowly start to, to increase some things. I think it's too soon for the testosterone to be having that effect right now, but I think that that will eventually play a factor with the weight, and so that's another reason why I want to keep weighing myself every day and just making sure um, you know, that, that I'm, I'm, I'm keeping a good record of, of everything that's going on with me so that the doctor has um, all the information they need in order to make the right choices for me in terms of how much testosterone I should be taking and just all that. So, anyhow, um, I guess that's pretty much everything I can update uh, on this video and that's probably a long enough ramble for now but uh, I will be back in two more weeks and we'll see what kind of changes if any <laughs> have happened then all right take care bye bye